It's 11.30. Ah. Good morning. Good morning. What time did y'all start this morning? Uh, 6.30. Wow. Has it been busy? Been a, little, a little busy, which is nice. Cool. How long have you been doing these loop drives? Long enough to be a professional driver. We've been in operation since April of last year. Have you been doing it since April? Yeah. And is this all you do is drive the loop? Uh, amongst other things, but yeah. You do, do you do like ride shares and stuff? Oh, no. But yeah, this is my main job, yes. So this thing operates year-round, whether there's a convention or not? Uh, it only operates when there's convention. Yeah. So somebody asked me, if there's an accident or something, what happens? Is there any way to get out of this thing? Yeah, we have a constant surveillance of the tunnel. So uh -huh. It'll turn solid red and alert other drivers not to enter the tunnel. We can... Uh, reverse if needed or just depends on the situation okay yeah. you haven't seen anything like that yet have you there hasn't been anything like that you're right so all these uh lights on the side that are white would they turn red they would all right and here you are thank you so much that was simple and easy have a wonderful day Okay, it's almost 3 o'clock and there's no line. I can make a video, right? I wouldn't see why not. You didn't sign the... Uh, uh, can I make a video? Can I make a video? You sure can. Okay, thank you. How are you doing today? Well, thank you. Uh, going to the West Hall? Yeah. close to my hotel. So has it been busy today? It's starting to pick up now. I hadn't been. I mean, I didn't wait three minutes to get in this. So. Well, we got 70 cars running, so it makes it a, they're in and out pretty quick. What's the busiest y'all have been since this SEMA. thing has started? SEMA? Yep. When was that? That was about two months ago. And this was supposed to be the busiest one, but it's not even close to what SEMA was. Well, everybody... SEMA, we had... I mean, this area was full. It was it was really hectic. How long were people waiting to get in the car? They only waited four or five minutes. Really? It's still, we got them through pretty quick. And it only takes about 35 seconds to go from one station to the next. So these cars are constantly, constantly rotating. How long have you been driving for this? It's only since September. It's only been open since June. What happens if there's like one of the, an accident or something in? Well, there? they've got a procedure in place for it, but it's never happened yet. The only way there could be an accident if I run into that guy in the front, and I'm supposed to be six six seconds behind them. How do you know whether you're six seconds behind they, them or they, not? I mean, they they don't count it. You pick out a spot, you count to six. Uh. I count these, I yeah, yeah. these rings right here. When he hits one, then I count. But they don't hold you to exactly six seconds, as long as there's a, a pretty good distance between the two. But you're not afraid if there is an accident in here. No, I, 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 I just can't see how one can happen unless somebody really does something wrong. They, that guy would have to stop and back up. I was in a I, uh, car wash yesterday, and the car in front of me stopped and the car wash kept pushing me forward. I had to hit my brakes and have the things, you know, run under my tires to keep from running into the guy. Wow. But uh, that doesn't happen every day, does it? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was a very easy ride. Yep. Easy and quick. Thank you so much. It oh. beats the walk. It and sure my does. Yeah, save you a little wear and tear. All right. Have a great day. Thanks, sir. Bye. It's 11.30 and there is literally no line to get into this Model Y. 
go to the other side of the convention center. Howdy. Good morning to you. How's your day going? It's doing great, thank you. How's yours going? It's going well. It's going good. You know, this loop makes it easier to get to the other side of the convention center. It does. It saves your feet all the walking. Well, and a good bit of time. <laughs> Good bit of time. Got you going to Central Hall? I want to go uh, to the other one. To the south? Sure. Yeah. No problem. So how long have you been uh, driving these? About four months. Four months? Yes. And is this your full-time job? Uh, one of my jobs. <laughs> one of them. One of them. <laughs> so Somebody told me they thought this this just isn't very safe down here. So if there's an accident or something, uh, you just sort of have a big pile up and everybody dies. What do uh, you think? So we've been off in operations for six months now, uh -huh. and we had no incidents whatsoever. No, okay. ma no maintenance breakdowns, no situations and accidents, nothing of that kind. People, I think, they're just afraid of new things, and they're kind of like think that something's always going to happen. It's never going to happen like that, and especially later on in the future, it'll be autonomous. So if you take the variables out of it, which is the people, of course, it'll be a lot safer. But if something happens, is there any way to get out? There is protocols. There is protocols. Protocols. Yep. Can we you tell me what protocols. the protocols are? Not allowed to. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. But we do have safety protocols already in place. Secret protocols? Yes. Okay. I guess it sort of depends upon what happens, huh? Uh, this situation, say, like... Uh, evacuations say like an earthquake or something happens to a building there is different protocols we approach it with yep i see okay what are all these lines on the side of the tunnel for do you know uh those lines are basically the fabrication lines this is all prefab concrete rings and it is get slapped together like a tongue and groove the main line you see above you, that big that big line, that's the coaxial that has all our LTE, our Wi-Fi signals, radio signals, emergency signals. So you can actually pick up your cell phone and make a phone call down here, no problem. How far under the ground are we? About 40, 40 feet. 40 feet under the ground? Yes. The tunnels are about 0.8 miles in each direction. Okay. Uh, the end game to this is, is basically we're gonna get the rest of the city with about 30 miles additional tunnels and about 52 stops in between. And it's only going to be Teslas going through? Only Teslas going through, operated by the boring company with certified drivers, and no nobody else can just pull in their Tesla and drive in it. It'll just be all uh, company run certified. And that's how basically we can stop the, you know, what you, what you brought up about having accidents and stuff. No one else can just go inside and drive these tunnels. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't go smoke a bunch of pot and drive. <laughs> Not <Or> at all. <laughs> it might be fun, though. It might be fun. <laughs> all right. Thank you for the ride. You're very welcome. And have a nice day. Same to you. Bye.